<sighs> so I'm working on a vlog that is taking a considerable amount of time. It's actually week three of the Ultra Unlock, and it turned out being a beast of an edit, and I'm gonna have to split up into two parts anyway. Look forward to that in the future. So then I thought I'd make a news post, and as I was reading through the news, I was like, actually, there's something that I just want to address. And what it comes down to, guys, is I'm worried. So where I'll start is two days ago, Charles uncovered this in the 0.157.0. It's a new item called Ticket, a Colossal Discovery. A ticket to access the A Colossal Discovery special event on November 2nd from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. local time, wherever you are. And everybody's speculating, including Forbes, that a colossal discovery is likely bringing Regigigas to Pokemon Go. Now, if you're not familiar with Regigigas, he is the one Reggie to rule them all. We were introduced to Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel, and Reggie Rock, the dreaded Reggie Trio, as we've known to call it. And Regigigas is the King Giant Reggie. It apparently rules the other ones. It was the one that we're all waiting for. Basically, it's the only one of the Gen 4 Legendary Titans that we have not seen yet in Pokemon Go. And with Trolls unveiling this ticket item to a colossal discovery. Forbes seems to believe that this points pretty squarely to Regigigas, which leads me to a tweet that Kelvin posted. Prices for new boxes and tickets have been found on Google Play and App Store. And those first couple items are standard. Those are the in-game prices for those items. But then we have new trainer box, beginner box, and ticket. And we'll get back to that new trainer box and beginner box, but let's start here. The ticket price is $7.99. So now we know the cost of admission for the A Colossal Discovery event, $7.99. Now depending on what that entails, this is either really, really disappointing or it's a steal. If this is purely just an event where you pay admission and you have the opportunity to catch a Regigigas, then this is kind of outrageous and sets a terrible precedent for the game. Because if that's all it is, then later on, Pokemon Go could say, all right, we have another ticketed event for another random freaking legendary, and so on and so forth. And who knows, let's uh, let's charge admission for community days like they're doing to Ingress players right now. Or if you pay, you'll get a little bit extra on community day or something. And that's all horrible and everything, but that's not really why I'm worried. Because we've already speculated about this topic. This is something from ages ago. Early on when the game first came out, Trainer Tips actually made a video about it, where he was like, I feel like Mewtwo is too special. And I believe, that they're gonna do something like they do in Ingress where there's a ticketed event where you pay a ticket, you get access to a certain area, and you and the select players that have paid admission for this special event will be allowed into an area like Times Square, like in the commercial. You'll be given the opportunity in a certain time frame to catch Mewtwo. And that was that was the whole thing we were all speculating about. How much were we willing to pay for that? I think, I think it would be like $10 would be reasonable. We thought, yeah, 10 bucks for that admission would be pretty cool. Because surely they wouldn't just give away Mewtwo. <laughs> It wouldn't be possible for trainers to catch hundreds of Mewtwo for free. That, <laughs> that would be absurd. And we were all expecting it. But the problem is, it didn't happen. And we got Mewtwo for free. Many Mewtwo. They just backed up the truck and unloaded Mewtwo all over us. People get multiple shiny Mewtwo, whatever. We're gonna have Mewtwo dinner hour in a week. So for them to turn around and say, all right, now we're gonna be charging for legendaries, especially one that's not Mewtwo, it's Regigigas. Regigigas, yeah, it's kind of, uh, nobody cares. Nobody cares, really. The king of the Reggie trio is not much of a sales pitch with the Pokemon Go community, if you know what I mean. So there's that. And they can make it awesome. If they made it something like you and a group of trainers right where you are get the opportunity to catch Regigigas with an exclusive move that no one will be able to get outside of this event, plus we'll throw in some crazy spawns, some unknowns, some shinies, some regionals, that would be sick. That would be a crazy event. That would be well worth $7.99. But if it's just catching Regigigas, then no, it's not worth $7.99. Not even for an exclusive move that no one else is gonna ever get. In my perfect world, the way this event would unfold would be like a miniature Safari Zone or miniature Go Fest, except with legendary raids. So, wherever ticket holders decide to go, the gyms will have Regigigas in them, so it gives people an opportunity to raid Regigigas. Regigigas will have an exclusive move, exclusive for this ticketed event. At the same time, I'd like to see some extra spawns, some bonuses, some shinies, maybe throw some unknown and regionals in there. Who knows? And then a month or two later, release Regigigas to the world without that exclusive move. And I think that would be well worth the $7.99. I feel like that would be a no-brainer to the community, to me. And also it gives an opportunity for those who either cannot pay the $7.99 or who don't feel right philosophically paying that amount to be able to raid Regigigas later. That would be my perfect world. <laughs> if that happens, that would be super great. If it just ends up being Regigigas... I don't know. The user base wants to get their raid days back. Those were really awesome. If you're gonna start charging for those, mm, nuh-uh. 
I don't like that. But like I said before, that's not what's worrying me. Let's go back to the two items before ticket. New trainer box and beginner box. Now let me preface this, we are nowhere near this in Pokemon Go. I don't think this is actually where this is going. What worries me is the feeling that I get. When I see something like that, you know, new trainer box or beginner box, it kind of harkens to mind those pay to win mobile games that I used to play that I would just dump money into. So you log in for the first time, you start seeing ads for these 99 cent packs. They're super great and they'll give you an edge to compete with the players who've been there for months. And then you finally cave and you buy one. And then the next time you log in, you start seeing ads for 4.99 packs and your 99 cent packs are gone. And maybe you cave and you buy one of those. And then the next time you log in, you see ads for 9.99 packs and 4.99 packs are gone too. And so on and so forth. And all of a sudden, everybody's competing with each other and they're all buying $99 packs. Now let me straight here, Pokemon Go is nowhere near that, guys. Those are most pay to win models for mobile games like the Epic War franchise, which includes games like Game of War, Mobile Strike, Final Fantasy XV, A New Empire, games like that, that are all based on the same essential game. They're all the same game. Now in those games, you need those packs to survive. Pokemon Go, you don't need any packs to survive. You really don't even need to pay money to play the game, honestly. You want to have incubators, you want to have these things, but you don't need them. That's where I differentiate Pokemon Go right now. But when I see things like that, it still makes me worry. When I see those 99 cent beginner packs, it reminds me of a gaming environment that I don't ever want to be a part of. And that's what worries me. Mind you, we're nowhere near that right now. We're just introducing an in-game box that you can buy with real money. I just don't want it to turn into one of those models that kind of turns into a slippery slope and all of a sudden you need to be buying $99 packs to survive in the game. Which I don't think will ever happen with Pokemon Go. It's not actually that kind of a game. But there are certain things, especially with this new ticketed event, that worry me a little bit. I don't think we're ready for the backlash just yet because this could very well be an affordable alternative to going to one of these safari zones or events. Maybe maybe it's an attempt to allow us to experience a big event like that in our own communities right here, right now. Because we don't exactly know what this colossal discovery actually is. It could very well be a way for Niantic to allow people to experience something like a safari zone or a go fest to an extremely lesser extent <laughs> right here where you are for $7.99. If that's the case, that would be amazing. I just don't want to get to a point where you need to buy stuff to proceed. Because in those epic war games, you had to buy packs to actually level up your character past a certain point. So if you hit the peak level cap in that game, you pay for a pack, hope it contains the, the special medallion that you can use to level your character up to the next tier, and then the next tier. And you can only get those in those $99 packs. Anyway, that's just something I wanted to talk about. <laughs> I didn't cover any of the news. Guys, go read up on the news somewhere. I'm, it's not a news post. This is just kind of a rant. That's all. I'm worried, Niantic. Please don't ever do this to your game. That's all.